Good morning guys, today is the best day because today is this Pina day. Look at this hair, look at my roots. Oh, I mean they don't look that bad there actually to be honest, but I haven't done a full head of balayage since last February, so a year. So this is long, long overdue. So I'm going and treating myself. It normally takes eight hours to do my hair, but I'm in desperate need of a glow up. Like this is a year in the making. We leave so long between the sessions so that my hair can really grow and nourish and I don't end up having like breaking loads of hair, like breaking off. I'm in desperate need of a haircut as well. I just feel like my ends are just ugh, not a vibe. And I went to go get a haircut the other day and actually only booked for a blow dry they didn't have time for a haircut i haven't not had time for a haircut since so i'm like i just need you know when you just feel like you just need to shed i just need to like sort out my hair and my nails are gross everything just feels like i need a glow up you know i got these white nails recently and they've got really dirty and it's like it's really giving me the air. and my nails are giving me the ick <laughs> Look what a greeting! This is what we're working with here. Darkness. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> no, I just, I'm just trying to hide. <laughs> oh, you're hiding! I was like, what? I thought you were curling over like laughing at me. <laughs> you d don't need to hide. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, baby. You too. Blonde and progress. Hello. Can you see that? It's really heavy, by the way. Look at my neck. is <laughs> giving in. <laughs> and I just have this bit left to go. That's it. Farmer J, the best takeaway lunch there is. It's so healthy and you can literally pick your size and whatever you want. I'm trying a matcha green tea cookie. Do we think, it has white chocolate, do we think it's gonna be good? I don't even know if you can hear me. Like, I can't hear. It's getting on your nerves a little bit. It's been happening for you. Just all getting a bit too much. Like, I don't want to tell her stuff anymore. It's not really. When the white chocolate hits, it's good. I like doughy cookies. This is actually from Delicious. Has anyone tried them? But I prefer doughy cookies. I see blonde hair. Now you see blue. Oh wow, it's blue. Yeah. I see hairs of blue. <laughs> I kill the smurf and I like it. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, the nerves. I'm loving wearing my Adele earring. My little eye, isn't it pretty? I'm wearing it with my male huggies. If my code is still alive, my discount code, I'll link it. Okay, I need to put in the before and after video so you can see what this really looks like because the salon lights are making everything look <laughs> green. I literally just burst everyone in his eardrums with excitement of my blonde hair. Good morning, guys. This is the hair in daylight. What do we think? What do we think? Ah! It's a little bit lighter than I've ever been <laughs> in my life. And we didn't cut it because Despina just wanted to see what it looked like. But I do think, can you see these bits? I do think I need to book in um, for a haircut. She said not to. So let me know what you think in the comments. I won't book it till you see this anyway. But I do think just like a tiny bit of, you see a tiny bit scraggle at the ends. Like this little scraggle could go. But Despina was like, if you do masks, it won't be scraggly anymore. Like it's just from the dye. So, ooh. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it. This is my favorite new jacket. I'm going to roll up these sleeves so you can actually see it properly. It's from Louisa V. Aroma and I'm obsessed with it. Like I keep getting compliments on this and I've only worn it like twice and then actually I posted a link on Instagram and the link clicks were like insane. I always know what you guys like based on like how many people click on the link and so many people clicked on the link for this jacket. I feel like it's just really really classy and I love the oversized fit and the gold buttons like look at these buttons they're amazing so I've paired them with like really big hoops today I'm going to Sabina Belenko's showroom right now because I have two weddings coming up one in March and one in April and they're both like really big weddings so I need something like mega glam so I'm gonna go and um, check out Sabina's 
showroom and see what see what we can find in there and if there's anything I can wear. <sighs> I'm just a bit nervous with these weddings, so let's see. A little bit of perfume before we go. Killian Love Don't Be Shy Day. Is this Love Don't Be Shy? Yeah, because they have a new one, which smells amazing, but that's actually not in this bathroom, huh? Oh, I smell good. Should I put on some rings? I'm gonna put on the Nicole ring. I love that ring. Also gonna put on Ash and Eliza on this finger. Oh, I love this ring. This is May. I'm gonna put that on here. On here I have Amelia and Eliza. And I think I might put on one more Eliza there. In my second hole, I'm gonna put Cupid, which is a little bow and arrow. It's like the cutest little earring. It's such a good gift, this earring, because it's just so, oh, look at it. Seriously, this earring just makes me so happy. So cute. Cutie. <laughs> Look how excited he gets when we get in the car. It's because we always go fun places in the car, don't we? Hi, Baba. I love you. What do we think of my new nails, by the way? I'm trying a different shape, which I really like. I feel like it really suits my nails, actually. I don't feel like that coffin shape suits me now I see this in comparison. This showroom is yeah. amazing. I mean, I just about fit into that one. Like, oh, it was a struggle. I mean, like, three people got me in this that's last that's time that's I wore it. I love it. And this is the, I mean, I call this the Kate Beckinsale dress. I do you? I think she looked, like, that dress was made for her. It's iconic. Oh, the back. Okay, so what else are we playing around? This is so stunning. The detailing. Oh my gosh. The, ooh, I haven't seen this one before. No, that's really nice. I will definitely try that. Hi, Cookie. What are you doing? Don't pee on the dress, okay? Wow, okay, fun. I've tried this on before. I've actually worn this for a shoot before. I'm home a little bit early. Tonight I'm going for dinner at Mama Rachel's house. She's cooking us dinner, which is so nice. I feel like my mum called me the other day and she was like, Mama Rachel's made two different types of stew and chicken and right, like I don't even know what feast I'm walking into tonight, but I am buzzing. <laughs> I'm gonna actually watch something before I go because um, Hannah's gonna finish work a little bit later than me. We're just gonna wait for her and then go with her. I'm gonna watch something new on Sky Cinema. I love working with Sky Cinema because as you know, I'm a huge fan of my Sky Glass TV. This is my holy TV, my holy Sky Glass right front and center of my beautiful living room, if I may say so myself. <laughs> I'm obsessed with watching animated movies, like especially about dogs. Secret Life of Pets was my favorite movie of all time. And look at him, and, just, and, and they just make me so happy. Like they are the perfect way to unwind for me. Let's watch. Sky has rated the following film. You, suitable for all viewers, that's how nice it is. Oh, I'm fast forwarding too much. Why can't we just do what we did on our audition tape? So By the way, this month on Sky, there are pop-ups. So there are dedicated channels to specific things that was dedicated there was a dedicated channel for all things Valentine's Day and Oscar season is coming up so there is a dedicated Oscars channel so it has like Forrest Gump on it Chicago Oliver like I love that idea I feel like that's really really clever from Sky like if you want to stay in the loop you can go to their dedicated pop-ups and I am really just loving Rock Dog 3 it's Rock Dog 3 Battle of the Beat by the way like you have to watch it if you want something feel good and you're like me and you just like watching easy animated things that like just make you smile. I'm the kind of girl sometimes I get home and I'm like I just want something feel good and like soothing you know that is the word I was missing soothing. Hello! Hello. It Hello. smells Hello. so good. My two Hello. lovelies. Hi! Finally how are you? Oh you dressed up for us. Oh and you smell nice. Perfume, wow. This is so nice. Yeah. The little three of us having dinner, how cute. No way! Oh my gosh! Yay! Wow. I asked Mama Rachel if she had any photo albums. Oh my gosh, you've literally... Oh, this is so exciting. Look how many we have to go through. Really? It's a beautiful wedding dress. What, you wanted something very lacy? It's beautiful with the lace and the gloves. And the Tehran Journal. The Tehran Journal. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Can you see? What does it say? The Tehran Journal is in English? Yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh look, Cleopatra and Rachel. You were in the International Women's Club. Babies, children. Oh wow. Who are orphans 
Yeah. And we went and we saw the Queen and you know, oh wow, yes, yeah. oh, very and cool. It was very very. It's, it's really giving we Emily Gilmore. And, you know, a lot of charities, like every two three months a big do, and we uh, collected wow. a lot of money. So, so wow. much that you were in the newspaper all the time. Not all the time, no. But Is that you? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's so <laughs> funny. Is, yeah. What year was this? 1987. We 1917. should, like, why don't we that's make things we like, like the same? Like, we yes. need to do that. So who's Cleopatra? Who's this person? They, it said on the other page, like Cleopatra. Yeah, or she was just friends? some person in the women's club. Oh my God, this is giving Emily Gilmore. You have to no, watch the Gilmore right. Girls to understand this. Pregnant mum or Rachel with my mum? Oh my gosh, this is such a cool photo. Wow, a feast for three. Look at this. Oh, hand meatballs. Yum. And um, stuffed courgettes and rice. And there's probably going to be chicken there. I love that. I love that this is for three. Also, you unwell, like, so, still, still Play. serving <laughs> three plates so for three of us. I gave myself a facial and I took off my makeup. So I look a bit like half asleep, but it's chill vibes. I'm a Rachel's buffet for two. That's amazing. <laughs> look at all this food. And salad. Yeah, yeah, wow. Look at all this. And if anyone's wondering for the recipe of the meatballs, we made them together. That I will link down below. And also the stuffed courgettes we also made on my channel. So I will link that down below too. Hannah and I have been begging begging to see Mum and Rachel's photo albums for like ages. I didn't even know she had photo albums. All these photos that we've never seen before surfaced for my mum's birthday this year. You may have seen it in my birthday vlog, my mum's birthday vlog. There was like all these photos and I was like, where did these come from? I've never seen any of these pictures. I am so obsessed with looking at old photos. Me and Hannah now made a pact. We actually have made this pact before, but we need to make a better one in that we need to take actual pictures. Like, I feel like all the photos on my phone are like mirror selfies, selfies, like I'm talking about with family and stuff, like never like cool ones. Like now that I have my little portable camera, I'm gonna bring it round. I have not my vlog camera, I have a different one that I got before the Maldives. And I'm gonna bring that round with me on family holidays and for other, like if ever I'm even having family dinner, I'm gonna bring it with me. Like you remind me to do that because honestly having these photos is, is such, a game changer like what i said to hannah i was like looking through this album and i said to hannah what are we going to show our kids like what a bunch of mirror selfies like that is just so not the vibes anyway that was such a nice dinner and i can't believe mum rachel made all that food <laughs> just for us she said she hasn't cooked for anyone since like october was it october we're gonna do these dinners once a month because also there were just so many photo albums to look through like i think we only got through three this was my favorite picture of her with the dior bag and like she just looked so cool like imagine the photography skills of my grandpa like who knew they were such photographers i don't know do you know what i mean like some of them were like really like posed like i would post them on instagram <laughs> And we just don't take pictures like that anymore. Pictures are just so instant that it's like you don't stand with your family and like pose for them so often. We probably take family pictures like once a year, if that. Anyway, motivation of the day for us all to take better pics of us and our loved ones because you can show them and look back on them. The other thing is, does anyone do photo albums? Because you never look through photos on your phone. I don't. Do you? I never do. Unless Apple sometimes make that like album of you or like of the of a person or something or like a time. The other one I got one um, round the table. So it was like all the dinners. Like any time I'd taken a picture of like people around the table, it made an album for me. That's the only time. I feel like I really need to get on albums. Does anyone have an easy, fast way to do it? Because I don't want to be there faffing for too long. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you in the morning. I am going to try a new PT and then I am going to go and meet my mum for a little project that we have together. Good morning, Yay. good morning. I've had such a frantic morning and I like, I went to meet Pierre in the wrong place and I was like, ah! <laughs> you know, I don't know why. Do you know some days it's just a frantic day for no particular reason, but it just is. And now I'm running a bit late. It just, I don't even know why. I don't even have a real reason. It just, the energy in me was frantic today, but then it's now it's too late for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna go and meet my mum and we're going to Sign of the Times, which is one of my favorite vintage um, reseller stores in London. And have you actually been? You have been with me. We yeah. shopped it before. I've been, yeah, we have. And then I've been a couple of times before that, but I don't really go in. I don't really go into shops very often. Yeah. I think the only type of shop I would probably go into is this type of shop. Yeah, that same. That's literally like, if I could choose online or in store. I mean, I'm always I'd always online. choose online, but like this is the kind of thing where you need to try it on like the blazer i got last time was not my usual size but it still looked amazing yeah and Wait, it was a great price that? that nearly low tan blazer yeah yeah you love that amazing one. i love that, that one, got yeah. peter approved I, um, I i did that tiktok and yeah you chose the, it for the tiktok yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly oh my god we should do another one of those but like a night out oh my god i didn't put any earrings <gasps> i knew the energy of this day was off <laughs> oh i feel naked my ri like I don't have I only have I only have six rings on. Feels oh weird. Ugh. Ugh. I need to change my earrings to my first that I have my second hole because I don't take those ones out. I need to change them to the first hole. This is weird. Um, you know a lot of the time I just keep the second and third ones in and I don't have a main one in. Yeah, because the main one is the one you change. Like I never really yeah. change my second and third like as often as I change my main I change my main one every day. These are quite heavy as well, these ones. Shocking. We are in Sign of the Times. What have you found, Mother? Look at this sweet, wow, Sports clothes. Max. That's, amazing. That's gorgeous. Yeah, look, it's funny that you're wearing that and you've gravitated like towards that. It's gorgeous. I found this amazing Laura Piana coat. Look at this. I mean, these coats are probably like five thousand pounds normally retail. How stunning is that? It's so soft. In this secret room, apart from my mum's coat and my coat, <laughs> is well some of these amazing things that are going to be on sale via a secret link on Women's Day the eighth for the same price that they were on in nineteen. Hold on, I think it's nineteen seventy-six. <laughs> at the 1976 prices so imagine this bag at the 1976 price it's just under two thousand pounds and you know the retail of kelly's i don't need to tell you little chanel bag this actually is my favorite and this is going for around 300 pounds i believe i'm going to leave the link down below so you can sign up for the day these all go on sale for the 1976 prices oh, it actually suits you this one, this one oh my god next wednesday isn't that amazing yeah, that <laughs> go go <laughs> Take it around. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not joking. <laughs> okay, it's so good. I mean, it's, it's I mean, a little What happened to Pia? Oh, I never saw her again. <laughs> she left with the Fendi bag. Yeah, it's, it's so cute. It's, the it's actually amazing. I wish okay. they did this again. Yeah, yeah this style. So the ones sweet. with the clips aren't yeah, as nice, so and it's nice. the suede. Yeah. God damn it, you've got to have fast fingers for that. Yeah. yeah. No, like as if you were wearing oh. it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> Going into the secret stash at the back. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like suede. Oh, thank you. That's stunning. Look at these little Jimmy Choo's with the oh, shimmy shimmy. There's a shimmy shimmy. I love your scarf. Where is it from? Elmez. Oh, of course. So nice. Oh, it's so pretty with all the colors. You're very bright today. We've had very ambitious outfits. Like, look at that, I'm wearing freaking pumps. I love your pumps. Aren't they so cute? Just, like, give you a bit of sunshine. Yeah. Day, like, yeah, yeah, like they make my outfit like way more interesting. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite thing of the things we saw today? Okay. Do you have a favorite? Have favorite. Okay, okay, tell me your favorite. That was a sweet coat that I was trying on. Yeah, the blue one that you liked, yeah. <laughs> Shame. And then I love the... Um, you know the Chanel camera bag. Like, yeah, you, we, I didn't show that on the vlog. Let me show you guys. Oh, my coat. I can't forget that. Yeah, that is so cute. It's just not very you, though. I'm so surprised. When you're traveling, yeah. you don't really want to wear a big bag. And you just want to put your... No, but you have your, like, Hermes Evelyn for that. I'm so surprised. It's really cute. It's really cute. 
cute. It's just the cute little logo on it as well. Yeah, like, that's so cute. Lipsticks and things like that. Yeah. My mum is actually wearing a bag that she got here. I have never seen Pia obsessed with a bag. Like, I feel like you guys know, I've like tried to get her like into bags, like, or like liking bags. I've been like, try this one, try that one. She never carries a bag. I've never seen her obsessed with a bag like that. Suede Fendi, that was so interesting. I'm just dropped her at the office and now I'm going to a lunch meeting in Notting Hill with Clay Depot and Shiseido, which is so exciting because I have a trip coming up this month with Clay Depot. I've been such a fan of their products for so long. This is a Dior lipstick, by the way. I've just whipped this out, 314. I used to love this one. I haven't used it in ages, but my lips are really dry. Um, but when they didn't have Clay Depot products in the UK and I went to New York, I'd bring them back with me, like stocks of them. So I've been such a fan for such a long time, like since I've probably had acne, 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 acne. So it's really cool to be going on a trip with them. By the way, I always share like what I'm up to and like secrety things, like not secrets, but like kind of secrets, like the tea, on my Amelia Liana newsletter. So if you want to sign up to that, I will leave a link um, to it down below. If you just go on AmeliaLiana.com, and I only send one newsletter a month, so it's not loads. I don't bombard you. I just got home and look who I gave a bone. I feel bad, I've been out all day. So I was like, okay, have some have some love and entertainment now. He's gonna run away from me. <laughs> Ready? Oh no. What's that? You got your bone? You got your bone? Do you love it? I leave him to it when he's got a bone because otherwise it's just game over for me. <laughs> so the Clay de Pro and Shiseido teams have completely spoiled me with things I have not tried and my favorite things. Okay, that is um, a little treat I got for myself for dessert. And I have not tried their SPF. And I just remember from back in the day, like everyone on YouTube talking about their SPF. And I'm going away um, for a wedding in two weeks. So I thought, and it's gonna be in the sun. So I thought, okay, perfect time to try some SPF. Let's see what we have here. So this is the Ultimoon. Oh, hand cream and power infusing concentrate okay interesting if you don't know my shiseido serums that i use every single day are my absolute favorite i'm gonna link my favorite one down below this is the clay de po eyebrow gel very excited to try that i haven't tried that yet um but these are some of my favorite things okay oh the other thing i haven't tried is the clay de po mascara which is like a tubing mascara apparently amazing this is one of my favorite products from clay de po it's the liquid liner this has two sides it's like dual ended so it's got like a really fine precise tip and then more like a brush tip but my absolute favorite product in the world from Clay de Po is their concealer because this literally got me through my acne and I just finished I use two shades I use eight and four and I just finished my number four which is what I use under the eyes it's quite a bright um shade on me and they also gave me this sponge which looks like and feels better than beauty blender level like I will I will need to confirm this but look at that precision that you can get up there with the with the straight tip and it feels better than my beauty blender feels and I love that it's like flat and curved I've never been more excited for a sponge I know that sounds like so basic but like this is it's giving hopeful vibes for me I'm still putting together my sale of all the pieces I wanna sell. And I've added a couple more things. One being these Chanel boots, which I've honestly barely worn. And I still have the box for them. Like, look how new they are. So those are gonna be in the sale too. People keep asking me about my shoe size. It's 37, 38, 37 and a half for some of them. I don't know where I'm gonna sell everything yet. People keep asking me that too. I'm not sure where. By the way, yes, I am wearing Juicy Couture that I bought to dress up as JLo for Halloween, but... <laughs> I just found it so comfortable that I wear it all the time now. It's literally like my when I get home clothes. I will keep you posted probably on my Instagram stories where I end up selling all the pieces. There's going to be a mix of shoes and bags and jewellery. So we will see you next week with another vlog next Sunday, 9.30am UK time. You know where to find me on here by now. And hope you have a wonderful start to March. Bye guys.